Jeffrey speaking here. So today I'm going to do some sort of challenge video that is to buy gaming gears under 100 ringgit Malaysia. And with 100 ringgit Malaysia, I need to buy one. No, 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 no. Two. No, 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 no. But three gaming gears. And that includes a gaming headset, gaming mouse, and gaming keyboard. First, I have to do some survey around the internet to look for the best deal. FYI, I'm from a small town called Tawau Sabah, and the physical stores here usually have not much of choices. After I did my research, my final decision is to get the K World Gaming Bundle set, and it cost me 109 ringgit Malaysia. This is the best price I can find, although it has exceeded 100 ringgit Malaysia. But for me, it's still considered okay because it includes the courier fee from Peninsula to Sabah. Now let's see what's inside the box. Inside it, you will find a gaming mouse and then a gaming headset and last but not least, a gaming keyboard. The gaming mouse has ambidextrous design, which means left-handed gamers can also use this mouse. At the left-hand side, it has two buttons which is back and forth function in browsing your internet. But it's too springy for my taste. I often click it accidentally when I want to move my mouse sideways. At the top, it has left and right click buttons, rubber scroll wheel and DPI switcher. For the DPI, you can set to four different sensitivity, ranging from 1002, 1006, 2004, and 3200. For me, I use 1002 DPI, although I wish it has 800 DPI because I only play FPS game, which aiming accuracy is vital for me. But of course, this is more towards personal preference. The top surface is made of glossy plastic. It attracts a lot of fingerprints, but is easier to clean up by just using a damp cloth. At the sides, it is made of hard texturized plastic and it is not rubberized. So if you love rubberized gaming mouse, then this is not for you. Nowadays, RGB lighting on gaming gears are very common and this mouse is no exception. It has pulsating RGB lighting, but unfortunately, you cannot customize it via software. In terms of shape, this mouse is more suitable for palm and claw gripper, depending on the size of your hand. The cable is braided, although it comes in a very cheap price tag, and I have to give thumbs up to K-Roll for making it. The weight of this mouse is very light and feels very cheap, and it doesn't have any weight system, so this might put off some potential buyers. As for the sensor, this mouse is equipped with optical sensor, and surprisingly, the performance is very good. The lift-off distance is around half centimeters, and when you move back the mouse to the center of the mouse pad, the cursor will not jumping around. Talk about the headset. My first impression is the small form factor. If you have a big head like me, you need to extend the sliders. And the sliders are quite disappointing because it is made of cheap plastic, and in fact, one of them is not working properly. But in terms of comfort level, this headset surprised me. The clamping force is very subtle and I can wear it for gaming or watching videos for few hours. At the top, it has a very thick and dense form for the headband. And the ear cups are made of PVC and it has over ear design. As you know, I'm not a fan on on ear design due to uncomfortable experience when I wear it for a long period of time. The headset has minor adjustment system to suit your ears better, but you cannot fall or swivel it. Besides that, it has an inline controller to adjust volume of the headset and mute button for the microphone. And I hope that they can improve on the marking of the mute button as I often confuse whether it is muted or not. The cable itself is braided and at the end of it is 3.5mm headphone and microphone jack. So you can use this headset with your smartphone and tablet as well. In terms of sound quality, the bass is okay but not the most impressive low I ever heard. So now I'm going to do a microphone test of this gaming headset. And in overall, I would say this is the worst microphone for a gaming headset that I ever tried because it introduces a lot of noise during the recording. So if you are really serious about the microphone quality, I would say please look elsewhere. Finally is the keyboard. This keyboard is rubber dome type of keyboard. And the advantage is when you game on this keyboard, the sound of the keys is not as loud as mechanical keyboard. This keyboard is a very basic in terms of function, just like the Logitech K270 that I use in daily basis. It only has some media keys at the left and right hand side of this keyboard. For example, the volume up, volume down, play button, and etc. If you are MMO player who love programmable keys, then sorry, this keyboard doesn't provide that. 
Another thing that you should know is that this keyboard doesn't have any backlighting, so it's difficult for you to game in the darker room. The keycap is made of ABS, and the legend is pad printed on top of it. The downside of ABS keycap is the shining effect after you use it for a long period of time. As for anti-ghosting, this keyboard can register up to 6 keys at the same time. For me, that's good enough especially if you play FPS games. One thing that I dislike about this keyboard is the tiny rubber feet at the base. It cannot hold the position of the keyboard while I'm gaming. So after trying all the three gaming products, what is my final verdict? I would recommend guys to get this gaming bundle set if you are really tight in budget and at the same time you want to have that cool gaming look for a setup. Speaking of buying gaming gears, you guys can check out GameHypermart.com who is also the sponsor of this video. And for the whole month of September, uh, GameHypermart will be having My Cyber Cell, which is Malaysia's biggest online cell. And they will be giving away some promo codes to Tegila's fans so that you guys can enjoy some discounts when you buy your dream gaming gears. So for more info, please check out the description box below. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to Tegila's YouTube channel if you are new here. And I shall talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao!